We've got the uh, pilot side and the passenger side. Passenger side. Yeah, okay. I thought I got it backwards again. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Disclaimer. Just because we do it doesn't mean you should. Why am I working at it on this tiny table? I really don't need to be working on it right here. Okay. All right, now I'm going to... I think I'm just going to kind of get started on this uh, plate right here, which is going to hold our uh, voltage uh, voltage regulator and or uh, ignition coils. Okay. And I just filmed a video talking about the firewall forward kit and some about the engine. So look at those videos if they're out or they will be coming out. Uh, for kind of more information about this stuff or some of the stuff that I'm doing. Let's see here. So we have our ignition and voltage stuff, section eight from the firewall forward package. Let's see here. What do we, what do we have here? It looks like we've got, uh, we should have some really long bolts. Hey, there we go. These are AN 4-32A. Okay, let's put that there there okay so i'm not actually going to mount these plates yet because i want to be able to get to stuff behind the you know in the firewall but i figure i could just make them up now let's see are these drilled out to size what, which ones are these for? probably not for that it's probably like for yeah these ones so these are going to be quarter inch so what we have to do is uh figure out where we're gonna mount these. Looks like they go. Looks like it should it should mount just like. Just does not seem right at all. Okay, what I have here is the uh, regulator rectifier. The RR, as they call it in the manual. And I'm trying to decide here. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, okay. 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 So it looks like... Looks like we've got... Uh, man, that's a lot of cooling fin stuff. So here's the thing. These wires from the alternator are coming out of this side. So it doesn't seem like it makes much sense to try and route them over here because I don't want to get caught up in that flywheel so I don't know I might need to I might change it if I if I realize there's a better way of doing it but what I'm thinking is I'm gonna put it on this side because because uh, in the, the the assembly guide they put it on the pilot side but I'm thinking it makes more sense it seems to put it on the left side because we got the wires coming out right here and we can have a shorter distance uh, for those wires and then these wires are going to go to the battery, which I think is going to be mounted somewhere on this half of the firewall. So then that would also make sense because we basically we want the shortest distance possible for all the all the wires. And then I'm guessing there's like a connector here, and this yeah this is like a three pronged connector. I'm not sure why they do this like this exactly, but I guess we'll put this connector onto these these three wires and then put another connector onto the three wires from the alternator and plug them together. So anyway, but I had to figure that out because I had to kind of figure out which which way I was going to mount it on one of those plates. So it's going to be basically sitting here uh, like this. These holes, the ones I'm circling, are going to be for rivets. So they're going to be, uh, these are going to be A4. And same with this plate right here. The, that one, that one, that one, and that one. It'll be A4. All the other ones are going to be a uh, quarter inch. Right? Yes, quarter inch. So I guess I could have just left the plates together, but oh well.
cool. Man, it's gonna be hard to sort through like all this video stuff, but oh well, I'll figure out a way. I will, I will do it. I to deburr these edges because otherwise it's just going to bug me and it also might cut into the Adel clamps otherwise honestly these seem like pretty wimpy pieces of aluminum to be mounting uh, to be mounting the heavy ignition coils to but uh, What do I know? We've got this little thing, and these just have these little, these little standoffs that get go in place here. This little triangle. Just kind of sit in place, and then we have. Let's see. So pass. So this is going to be outboard. These are mounted on the outboard side. These holes right there match up, which are going to match up to. Which are going to match up to these holes here. Like this. Like that. Put this bolt through here. That won't take it down too much. I'm just gonna get it right now. It won't take it down. 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 Dang it, I don't want to have to bust through that. I'm going to have to I'm going to have to drill it out or something. Alright, stand by, I gotta find my punch. I have found my punch. So let's make some holes right uh, kind of in the middle here around this thing. Let's do one right there. Let's do one across from there.
And now it is time to deburr everything. So it has occurred to me that I don't actually have enough distance to get the head of the rivet on this side, so we're gonna have to put the head of the rivet on this side, which is fine, because this is the th thinner side of the material anyway, which is usually the side that we want it on. Um, yeah, so that, that should work just fine. Yeah, so something like that. So let's Clico this in place and rivet. That looks pretty good if I do say so myself. Okay, it's a little off center. <laughs> it, it is definitely off center there, but um, not so much that it's going to matter. And I can, it will allow all of the cooling air to come in here <clears throat> just fine. I'm going to deburr these edges just so that they're like a little bit softer so that I don't go scrape, you know, uh, scratching up either myself or any wires that may come in contact with these parts. a little bit overkill maybe but better than underkill but for now I'm not gonna rivet it just in case uh, I need to get to something so I'm just gonna Clico it for now after I install this guy right here our regulator rectifier which has some magic doodad things electronic stuff in there and it's got this nice shiny thing for uh, surface area for heat dissipation and that's another reason why I'm not going to be painting these uh, panels here because I want to make sure they have good contact uh, to dissipate heat Just for future reference, looks like this, and it just kind of goes right on there. And then this goes to the cabin compartment, and the passenger has to continually be, 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 be blowing into here. <sighs> Otherwise, the engine will stop. Okay, I'm just kidding. But uh, no, this goes into the, uh, the, the baffling compartment thingy. Uh, for the engine cooling, we get get some of that air, bleed air, if you will, and goes straight to here and cools it off. All right, yay! Okay, so that does it for the um, I don't know what you call these things, these these panels, the with the ignition coils. We've got the uh, pilot side and the Passenger side, passenger side, yeah, okay. I thought I got it backwards again. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I did get it backwards. No, I did it again. Oops. I did it again, okay. All right, gosh. I don't know why this is, why this is such a confusing piece for me, okay. 
because the okay see the thing is is that this little piece here this little this little four-sided you know shape goes is supposed to go it gets larger as it goes forward but i keep thinking it gets narrower as it goes narrower okay okay all right so what i have to do i'm just going to take this thing flip it to the other side basically so that it's like this but it, but the the coil is on this side of the plate Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do that. Excellent. Okay, now, now we're actually good to go. So we're gonna have, looking at it from the, from the engine, uh, passenger side, pilot side, ignition coils, voltage regulator, rectifier, and yeah. So now we're good to go, and then we can just put our attach attach our ADEL clamps uh, to the mount, the engine mount, the tubes, and then attach these babies, and then, you know, wire this stuff up, attach all the wires, and also um, rivet this thing in place. Super duper! Uh, that's all, I guess, I think for this video, and I'll just kind of break it up and do more stuff in another video. Thanks for joining me. Um, I will see you on the next one. Ha!